There are plenty of AI tools you can use right now and some are so good, they can be a little bit unnerving. So here are a bunch of free, cool AI tools that you can try right now. Now, you know, we all have those very old family photos that are grainy or perhaps that picture of you as a kid or as a baby that your dad snapped on that old Nokia phone and the quality was just terrible back in the day. Check this out. Head over to deep-image.ai forward slash app, upscale and enhance your images. So let's upload a particular image. So here's a vintage photo that I happen to find on Google Images. I'm going to upload that. And now I have the option to remove the background. I'm going to leave mine on, but I definitely want to sharpen this image. I want to reduce the noise and I want to upscale it so I get a better quality. Click the enhance button, wait a couple of seconds and there it is. There's the before and after. With this little slider, you can clearly see that there is a difference. Let's open up both those images side by side, and there we go. You can see the difference. Look, we all spend far too long writing emails, documents, social media posts, so this AI tool is going to make life so much easier with just a few clicks. Right, let's head over to writer.me. From email to blog post to social media, everything is there. So let's say I need a video idea for this YouTube channel. So I click on video idea. What are the keywords that I'm gonna use for this idea? I'm gonna type in something like AI tools. And what kind of tone, what kind of style is this particular idea going to be? Now let's hit that button and see what it comes up with. And okay, AI for beginners, a simple way to get started. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. In fact, let's make that into a blog post. Right click on that, copy, and then under the use case, let's look at blog section writing. And under section topic, let's paste that in there and let's give it some additional keywords. And then let's see what it comes up with. And check this out. So this is pretty good. Remember, this is all AI driven. It's generated the whole thing for me in a couple of minutes. What else can we do with this? Let's go to the email. I really like this section. So some key points. Hey boss, I need a raise. I'm a long time employee. I run big teams. I need some time off. And it generates a very, very cool email. I believe that in the last year, our team has been 45% more efficient, blah, 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 blah. Saves me loads and loads of time every single day. Definitely give this a go. Want to earn some extra cash? Starting a business or a side hustle is difficult enough. Coming up with a name for that business, well, it's almost impossible. Head over to namelix.com, the business name generator. The first thing I wanna do is give it some keywords about my particular business. Click on generate. And next up, what kind of randomness am I looking for? Random ideas, more varied results. That's what I'm gonna go for. Give it a couple of seconds and ta-da, it comes up with a whole bunch of names for my potential new business. I scroll down until you find the one that you like. What I really like about the site as well is it not only does it give you a name, but it tells you if that domain is for sale or not. Every company needs a logo, but if you're like me and suck at making graphics, well, this AI tool will generate one for you. So head over to brandmark.io, create unique professional logos for your business. Click on create my logo. And the first up, what's the brand name? So let's select something that I know, the techie guy, and the slogan, making tech easy and give it some keywords, technology, Wi-Fi, security, what kind of color palette am I looking for? I'm gonna go soft pastels, and then look at that. It just generates some really, really epic logos that I can currently use within my business. Now, since you went around to talk with your great, great grandparents, what if you can see them today? Uh, warning, this can be a little bit upsetting for some people. This is the way to animate your family photos from my heritage. Link will be in the description below. Check this out. I uploaded a picture of obviously the Mona Lisa and look at that. I mean, come on, it brought the Mona Lisa to life. This is freaky, scary and pretty amazing all at the same time. Now, obviously, if you upload your own family photos, especially if it's someone that's close to you, someone that has passed away, well, then this becomes a little bit weird, a little bit creepy, basically seeing the same person being animated and basically coming back to life. So use your own discretion here. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many AI tools that can help you achieve more and automate more. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more of these. Also check out this video over here that YouTube AI thinks you should absolutely watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.